Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to show you how to remove mold from your carpet. The first rule of business uh, is you gotta make sure that all the water is out before you start dealing with the actual carpet. So you wanna dry everything up, make sure it's completely dry, then you can deal with the stuff that's sitting on top of the carpet and any mess that's in and around. So make sure it's dry, then you want to wake it back up and clean things out. So we're going to be using my antimicrobial everything cleaner or Amec, um, which is a pretty amazing solution. Uh, this is it right here. We're working on my 1980. Uh, it's basically a Corvette <laughs> with an El Camino body. Um, so anyway, I know that's funny. That's not necessarily true, but uh, it's a uh, pretty performance oriented but anyway it's an 80 el camino nothing fancy uh amec right here this is an eight ounce bottle i sell it eight ounce 16 ounce and uh one gallon and i have it diluted in here it's about one part amec to i don't know i filled it up to this line right here where my thumb thumb is with amec and then i filled it with water and now this is what we're left with uh, is just the the rest but as you can see if i can get my shadow out of the way that's mold uh the window seals we leak a little bit in this thing um so i'm actually going to replace them they're actually well they're they were new five years ago when the, i had the car painted but they're definitely not now and uh, I actually installed them in the wrong area, so I'm gonna have to uh, make some adjustments when I re reinstall them. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. Uh, that's the mold from the water that was sitting uh, in the floorboard while it was at the mechanic shop for four months. Having a new engine, well, the same engine rebuilt. I'll uh, get to that in another video. But anyway, uh, what I want to show you is how to remove that kind of stuff from your car and uh, you'll dilute your amac it's going to kill the germs and bacteria that's in there you spray it directly on the problem area you're not trying to soak it per se but you want to get it nice and moist just like so now again this is not incredibly complicated you can damp the towel if you want but for this demo i'm not going to i'm literally just going to go in there and scrub it all out This is what I call the damp shampoo method. Um, and that basically is exactly that. Uh, you're getting everything damp, but you're not uh, saturating it. So uh, the cool part about this is generally, if it's not so bad and you can get everything out without making uh, a huge uh, moist mess, you can go straight into what I'm about to show you, which is the uh, the fabric protect. So now you notice that it's all cleaned out, no more mold in there, looks amazing, and that's that. So I'm gonna give that a few minutes to dry, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to apply the fabric protect to uh, your carpet. All right, so we're back. It's about 20 minutes later. The carpet's dry to the touch. Again, I didn't soak it. I just uh, sprayed the antimicrobial everything cleaner on it. Uh, that stuff's awesome for your interior. It does work awesome on the exterior, but it was designed mainly for the interior to clean, you know, viruses and bacteria and microbials and that kind of thing, uh, in addition to the actual cleaning. So it's killing the harmful stuff and doing a great job cleaning. It, it works great on carpets, leather, uh, plastic, vinyl, it doesn't matter everything on the interior it's great for but also the exterior it also won't uh harm your paint if you need to use it on the paint but i would use ipc for the outside that's infinite purpose cleaner <clears throat> anyway uh so we've got the fabric protect from my force field protection system lineup notice it's got a mini sprayer on it this stuff is pretty fantastic if you don't want stuff to spill and get into your carpets it actually uh, creates a barrier on the outside that still lets the fabric breathe but also uh, will protect from spills and that kind of thing so the bottom line is um, there's a lock and unlock on these sprayers so there's the lock there's the unlock and it's really simple after you've cleaned the area uh, and vacuumed it all out 
And for this demo, I'm just gonna skip from cleaning, letting it dry into the fabric protect, and then when I cut the video, I'll go ahead and finish it up myself. So anyway, application is simple. Make sure the carpet or whatever upholstery is clean and dry. Then you literally, if I can get the sprayer to work. There we go. Then you literally spray it on the carpet like so doesn't take a ton this is just a nylon brush that i used to clean pads and stuff with it's a hard bristle brush uh, i can't find my other brush right now but this will do no big deal so once you spray it on the surface you want to work it in with a brush that way the the product gets in all the fibers um, you'll go back with a just a quick second application just spraying it on the uh, carpet and then you'll work it in with the brush just like so and then what i do i do that twice to make sure the fabric is saturated then i'll give it a quick mist all over the area and i'll leave it there so you're getting the fibers that are inside all protected and you're also getting that top layer protected. So as you can see, the Amec did a great job of removing the mold that was uh, down there, mildew, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, it, cl it cleaned that out, it killed the, uh, you know, the bad stuff, it removed the uh, discoloration and you know, anything that was sitting on top. Then straight away after that, we went straight in with the, uh, after it dried, we went right in with the Fabric Protect from my force field protection system lineup. You can also use the Aqua Blocker, but this is more geared towards inside. It has a higher heat tolerance. Uh, generally your car uh, in the sun will get really hot inside. So Fabric Protect, awesome for interiors, carpets, and upholstery, uh, where the Aqua Blocker would be more for your marine applications uh, and exterior types of fabric like your Bimini top. So anyway, this has been the my signature series Amec Antimicrobial Everything Cleaner How To and the force field protection system lineup is my specialty lineup uh, and the fab fabric protect is in that lineup and that stuff works amazing it beads water uh, in this in this particular video uh, it needs about two three hours to cure properly so in this video i'm not going to show you the after but that is going to be an amazing situation when it's done uh, on the complete interior. I'll probably do a, an after video uh, in a few weeks on this one. I've got a lot going on right now. Uh, but once I get the whole interior done today, I'm going to spray it all down with the Fabric Protect, work it all in, let it sit for um, overnight, and then it has to go back to the mechanic, which will be all the explanation on that will be in the next video. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and your trust and support. If you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day.